They are some of the most exotic and distant destinations on Earth. China, Israel, Ukraine, and Japan, just to name a few. And they're all places to which Cincinnati Mayor Mark Mallory has traveled since taking office. But in these difficult financial times for the city, how does he justify continuing to take these trips on the taxpayer's tab? And just how many places has he visited? Nine News anchor Lance Berry is on your side with the answers. Lance? Since the mayor took office in December of 2005, he has taken more than 60 trips, almost a dozen international. And he's not apologizing for any of them. He feels his job of mayor goes far beyond City Hall, choosing to serve additionally as Cincinnati's global ambassador. On the corner of Mark Mallory's desk sits a fittingly titled organizer for a mayor that's seen by some as outgoing far too much from the city that he represents. Just guessing here, right off the top of my head, I can tell you I've probably traveled more than previous mayors. But you're not going to apologize for it? Absolutely not. Mallory's office at City Hall is full of souvenirs from his trips, including this one from a visit to Saudi Arabia in 2009. Uh, this is one of the things that they gave us to commemorate the uh, visit. That was just one of many trips Mallory has taken, according to documents supplied by his office. In 2007, he began traveling internationally with a stop in the Ukraine, followed by trips to Germany and Israel in consecutive months. In 2008, it was back to Germany, then onward to China, and then to France. In 2009, the Middle Eastern trip, and then across the globe to Japan. And then last year, it was on to China, twice and then a stop in neighboring Taiwan. You have to establish relationships. Sometimes uh, those individuals want you to come to where they are. So you have to go and you put in the face time. You uh, become acquainted, become familiar with the organization, with the individual. And those are the uh, trips that I've engaged in and those are the things that really uh, lead you down the path of success. Just days ago, those trips led Mallory to Los Angeles for an appearance on the Jimmy Kimmel Show. His second time there since taking office. His first? Well, who could forget it? It was in defense of the first pitch seen around the world. I think any mayor in this country would take the opportunity to be on a show like Jimmy Kimmel to have the, uh, the chance to just bring attention to the city in a positive way. It really helps uh, in people's minds to understand what Cincinnati is really all about helps them if they can see who the mayor is, that the mayor has a sense of humor, can laugh at himself, uh, can talk about what's great about the city. But other trips have been no laughing matter, all business, like another one just this month to Washington, D.C., for a summit with federal officials on Cincinnati's controversial streetcar. Just about every city that I've been to out of the country either has streetcars or light rail or they're building streetcars or light rail. For even the biggest Mallory critic, it is hard to deny his successes. That includes streetcar, all kinds of federal projects, state projects. We've brought uh, some businesses here. We've brought a lot of conventions here. All told, Mallory's office says he's brought in a staggering figure back to Cincinnati since being sworn in. This is $74, $74 million here that we've gotten through uh, federal earmarks for my travel. Add to that $75 million for the streetcar. So we're up to 149 and 50 plus million from the stimulus. So we're over $200 million. Mallory wasn't through. We've gotten a lot of conventions uh, as a result of me going and pitching the city of Cincinnati to come here. Uh, the NAACP, the Baptist ministers, the list goes on and on. Those are going to total more than $100 million alone. While he says he doesn't have a travel problem, Mallory admits he just might have an image one. Is there a disconnect at all between your travel and what it's meant for the city? Well, I think that there may be. Compared to numbers like that, his travel expenses are peanuts. In this case, airline peanuts. This is what yeah, your what office has spent right, right, right. for you to travel. According to his office, that number is slightly more than $30,000 since taking office, while other groups, offices, and countries have picked up his travel bill for another 51000 I don't know a single person that wouldn't make that investment. But what of the investment in Mallory's time, days away from his office and duties here? Do you feel like you are able to balance travel and your responsibilities here? Do you feel like you've missed out on anything while you've been gone? Obviously, I can't be in two places at once, but one of the things you have to do as mayor, whether it's the issue of travel or anything else, is you have to balance 
you have to balance the, the, the benefit versus the cost. Well, he says none were of a personal nature. Mallory is candid about some of his trips being more beneficial than others. I could probably look at some of these and say, that was a waste of my time, but you only know after you've been. That's, that's the problem. As to whether we might see him more incoming and less outgoing to other cities he's been to, like Boston, Key West, and New Orleans, well, let's just say if you were in Las Vegas, and he has been, I wouldn't exactly bet on it. This method works. You go out, you talk about what's great about Cincinnati. Some people would argue maybe that's not the mayor's role. That's absolutely the mayor's role. Okay, tell us about the that. The mayor's key role is to be the spokesperson and the lead cheerleader for the city of Cincinnati. Lance Berry, 9 News. And for a deeper inspection of the mayor's travels and related expenses, you can find Lance's story on the homepage of WCPO.com. There you will also find information on the mayor's staff who travels with him and whether or not his controversial bodyguard is among them.